For five days, dozens of Olympians and Olympic hopefuls have been telling their former doctor the pain he has caused through years of abuse. Tomorrow, an Olympic gold medalist will head to Michigan to a courtroom there to stand with those young women. And good evening. Sarah is off. I'm Russ Mitchell. Chris Ty spoke tonight to Dominique Mociano about why she's going, those horrific charges, and the future of the sport. Hi, Chris. Hi, Russ. She calls Northeast Ohio home. She was the youngest U.S. gymnastics champion ever. She was abused, not at the hands of Dr. Nasser, but she's known him for decades. Tomorrow, she wants to show up and show support for his victims and help clean up the sport that she has says has been dirty for decades. Larry Nassar, I hate you. On day five, it was 15-year-old Emma Ann Miller's turn to speak to her doctor. It is not easy to stand there and talk about your pain in that way. We spoke with Dominique Mochianu tonight, an Olympic gold medal winner in gymnastics in her own right, who calls Northeast Ohio home. Tomorrow, she's making the trip to the Nassar courtroom up in Michigan. Just look him in the eye and say, you know, you're not getting away with this anymore, and we all know it. She wasn't abused by Nassar, but she's known him since she was 10. And she was abused by coach coaches in the sport in route to her 1996 gold medal win. Since then, she's helped lead this conversation of exposing abuse that for a very long time was kept out of the spotlight by the powerful. They would brush it under the rug. Nobody wanted to address it. Among those not wanting to address it, the three leaders of USA Gymnastics who resigned under pressure today. That's who was helping run our leadership in our sport. And it's really, really scary that it took countless victims to finally get where we are today. She hopes the Nasser case and the change in leadership will mean real change, deep change for the sport that she loves. While gymnastics is a summer sport in the Olympics, she thinks this conversation needs to be front and center in the Winter Games, which starts in just a little over two weeks, Russ. We talked about this. There's news today that one of Dr. Nasser's victims, one that he's ab admitted to abusing, yeah. was still getting billed by the doctor? This is unbelievable. He worked at Michigan State University, and that university billed the family of that young girl you saw at the beginning of our story. And NBC News called MSU today. They said the billing will stop. It's unbelievable it got to even that point. Mm, that is insane. All right, Chris, thank you very much. Yeah.